What is going on guys? So I'm gonna answer a question that has been asked to me a ton of times and it's a super simple question. It is, what is your favorite bait to throw? And if you had one bait, only one to throw for the rest of your life, what bait would it be? And for me guys, if you know me and you've seen the videos, you know what it is. It's the bladed jig, AKA chatterbait. That is my confident bait. If you gave it to me in the middle of the winter, I throw it in the middle of the summer. It doesn't matter. The chatterbait is my go-to bait. I'm gonna break down exactly what I like to throw it on, what colors work best for me, and when I like to throw it. So, without further wait, let's get into this video and let's break down exactly why I like to throw the bladed jig, AKA chatterbait. Let's go. All right, guys, I wanna break down exactly why the chatterbait is one of my favorite baits. Mainly, it's because the spots that I fish are muddy and stained. Also, fish. they have a ton of grass. So those are two big things you have to work against. Now with this chatterbait, with it being muddy, this blade creates a lot of vibration. And it comes to the water and fish can use their lateral line on the side of their body to find exactly where this bait is at. Next, some of the baits have gold blades. These gold blades create a lot of flash. Fish can see that flash. So in muddy water, you want sound and also you want them to be able to see your bait. With this flash, it helps them to see your bait. Next, also with a chatterbait, a lot of these spots are filled with tons of grass. So with your chatterbait, it comes over that grass and you can swim it directly over, almost tickle the top of the grass, or you can bring it directly through that grass. Many times when you bring a chatterbait through the grass, that's when you're gonna get your bites. When you pull it through that grass and then that fish is on. Those are some of the main reasons why I like to throw the chatterbait. All right, guys, it's that fun time of the video to announce my top three chatterbaits and the reason why I chose them. We're gonna go over the color, the reason why I chose them, and also the trailer. So let's hop straight into that video. First off, let's talk about the Gimme Lures Jabberbait. Now, let me see if I can show it to you a little bit better. There we go. But this is one bad boy. If you're fishing in dirty, stained water, this one is gonna get the job done. It vibrates harder than any other chatterbait that I've ever felt in my life my personal experience. Now, I went with black and blue. It is a great color for dirty and stained water. And the trailer is gonna be the Sight Baits Shad Nasty in black and blue also. So, you have a super hard thumping chatterbait with that black and blue trailer. It's gonna help bass to be able to locate your bait. Plus, this one out of the three is gonna be one of the cheaper ones. It comes in right around $8.99 or either $7.99. Now, that again is the Gimme Lures Jabberbait. This one's gonna be the Venice Baits Jawbreaker. This is a pretty premium chatterbait. This thing has a gold blade, and this is the bluegill color. Many spots of that fish have bluegill in them. It also kind of resembles a uh, golden shiner. Now, with this gold blade, you're gonna have a ton of flash up front, and also it has a pattern etched into it just to give you a little bit more shine. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's actually a pattern on the blade. With this bait, it actually goes a little bit deeper than most of the chatterbaits that I fish. And you also can tell that that blade is bent up, which allows it to just go down a little bit deeper than most. And it has a really weird head. This blade actually rubs against the head just to give you some more vibration. So the biggest thing about this one is it comes through grass pretty smooth. And if you have bluegills in your body of water, which most of our ponds and reservoirs do in the South, this one is one of my favorite presentations. On the back of it, it's like she has a uh, Ray Swimmer trailer, which matches this bait perfectly. It makes for a really great silhouette with that gold. It really mimics a bluegill and it has that orange and yellow on the bottom. So that's actually the Venice Baits Jawbreaker Chatterbait. All right, guys, we're gonna go over the third and final Chatterbait. That's actually gonna be the Z-Man Jackhammer, just an all around solid Chatterbait. Now, I don't have the color that I want, but I would tell you guys to go with white on white. You cannot go wrong with right on white. It stands out in dirty water, and plus, around the shadow spawn, it can be magical. They will destroy white chatterbait during that time of the year. All right, guys, it's a nice four pounder. Caught them on this bank. This fish hit it right underneath a grass line. White chatterbait, muddy water, that's what you want to lose. Let's release this big guy. Now, just a couple special things about the jackhammer. First off, the blade is actually stainless steel, so it's going to be really doable. Plus, it's actually bent up. It's gonna allow your chatterbait to go deeper in the water column. And one of the most important things is that it has a super premium sharp hook. A lot of times when you're fishing a chatterbait and you lay into a fish throughout that fight, 
they can come off. This one should penetrate that bass mouth and stay on. Last, it has a dual uh, holder for your bait, which is gonna keep that bait in place. So you want to fidget and move it around to make it stay on the bait. All around, great bait. Go with the white chatter bait. And also I use a Kitek Fat Swing Impact in white color too. I believe this one is the 4.2. Now let's hop into the fish tank and check out what these baits look like in the water. All right guys, what you're noticing in the fish tank is the actual baits all have rubber live skirts, which means they flow out. Now that is super important because when you're fishing and you throw your chatter bait out there, it's gonna fall and it has that onion-like effect when it flows out. Now my biggest bass was caught on the drop on the chatter bait, which is a 7.3 pound bass. Surprisingly, the jabber bait has the biggest skirt that flows out. So just some insight on how chatter baits are a little bit different. All right guys, we talked about the chatter baits that I like. Now let's hop into my rod and reel setup that I use to throw around the chatter baits. Now, first off, let's talk about the reel. This is the Luz Hyper Mag. It is one of their most lightest reels in the arsenal that they make. It is super duper light. It helps with this rod cause it's kind of heavy. Now, this is a 75 ratio, which helps get those bass in. Just be careful when you're fishing with a reel that's that fast with a chatter bait cause sometimes you can fish it too high up in the water column. Now, this reel also has the wind grips which helps if you're ever out in the rain, it just helps you to have a better grip on them. And it also has this hook keeper, which you can use to keep your chatterbaits in place when you're not fishing. Now, all around great reel, super, super light. Now, let's talk about the rod. This is the Evergreen Combat Stick. This is a grass rod. It's also a 7.3 heavy. I know you guys are probably like, dude, why are you throwing a heavy rod with a chatterbait? Well, it helps. When those fish get in the grass, you can bring them out. And this glass actually helps you play a fish. Um, so all around, phenomenal setup. I love this rod. When I first got it, I wasn't a fan of it. It's a different feel than a graphite rod. It plays the fish. I actually had times where I picked the fish up and the hook just fell out. It would really legitly play a fish. Phenomenal rod, great reel, expensive setup. This comes in right around $500, but it is phenomenal. So if you ever get a chance to throw it around, or if you're with me, give it a chance, give it a try, throw it around and see what you think. So that's my setup. Now. Let's hop back into the other person of this video. Well guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope it gave you some insight on chatterbaits, when to throw them, what colors to use and what not. Down below, put your favorite chatterbait and what's your favorite trailer. I would be interested in knowing. Well guys, take care, tight lines. Be sure to subscribe so I can bring you guys more content. Y'all have a great day. Talk to you later. I know this side drops out. Oh yeah. This might be a big fish cut. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh! Good fish. The old chatter bait. Vantage bait, baby. This is a good fish, y'all. That fish literally jumped about. 12 inches out the water. He's still fighting hard. Oh yeah, really good fish there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now he running hard, guys. He's seen the boat. He coming your way. Oh man, it's a stud. That is a stud, dude. <laughs> that is the best fish I've probably caught so far this year, guys. That's a chunk. Hit it right on the fall. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pig. <laughs> hey, look at him. Look at him, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, man. What you guessing? Uh, upper six is low seven. I don't know. It's heavy, dude. It's, it's thick, too. I'm going to guess Maybe seven, seven, three. Seven, three.